Lindro wants to know. How can I tell whether a guy is flirting or just being nice? Boy, that is a good question. Go with your gut. Sometimes it's kind of obvious if they're like, hey. You can tell by the way they smile at you, by the way they use their body. If they're flirting, they will probably be a little more seductive. Try to read into like the physical gestures, like if he puts his arm around you or like tries to touch you. If a guy's being nice to you, just be nice to him back, see how it goes. If you're interested in him, I would look him directly in the eye and say, are you flirting with me? Sometimes flirting is just being nice. Sometimes just being nice is flirting. Generally, the easiest way to find out is to ask. Keith Man asks, How do I talk to animals like Mowgli? Is it Mowgli from, from the Disney movie? Is that the Mowgli we're talking about? Or do you just sing along and play along with the animals? I don't think that's possible. Believe and have imagination and write a book. Make noises the same as them. They will like understand you. If there's a dog, maybe bark. I would speak in their language. If they're monkeys, I would speak monkey. If they're lions, I would speak lion. You can talk to animals by just speech, but I don't think the animal can talk back to you. You'd have to practice uh, the old technique of a thing called the horse whisperer. Maybe you could study that. Go to college and study zoology. There's a lot of research actually on animal language and learning to read how, what an animal is thinking based on um, ear movement, tail movement. Find your inner animal and then let that animal speak through you. Before you know it, every little critter upon the earth will be walking up to you. Mohammed Islam asks, Can someone tell me how to tell my parents that online games can't be paused? I can't because I thought they could be paused. So I don't have a clue. I do apologize. Why can't they be paused? I can't tell your parents. You gotta work on that one yourself, champ. Just don't play at all, to be honest. This just takes up time. I don't really like when people, parents tell me that games can't be paused, but you know, you're just gonna, you know, have to live with it, I guess. Just go do what they want you to do, and then come back and play your games. It's much easier, trust me. How about before you even start the game, you tell your parents? I'd probably have them sit over my shoulder and play the game with me for a little bit. The best thing to do is to be direct. Just say, I need to express to you that I enjoy my games, I like playing with them, and when I'm playing with them, I can't pause them. Tell them that this, this is my life, okay? So I can't pause my life. I can't just, I, you can't just say, oh, just save it. What, what are you talking about? I can't save my life. This is an Undertale, okay? Trunks DBZ girl asked, How do I make people fall in love with each other? You have to get an arrow, put a, like, draw a little heart on it, and shoot someone with it. So there's one person here, and another person here. You just push them together, and, the, and then they look into each other's eyes, and they're like, Hi. Let things go flow by themselves. You can't make people fall in love with each other. You can introduce them to each other, you can hope they will do it, but there's no way you can make them. You gotta find, like, the right people, because not everyone's meant for each other. Try to find, like, mutual interest with them, and then try to, like, give them a gentle push towards each other. You know, if you know that they have something in common, maybe bring it up. Maybe they'll bond with that, but just let it happen naturally. That's the best kind of love. Invite them over to dinner and put on music that they both love and steer the conversation into things that they both love. Beth Cruz, she wants to know, how do I get my friends to stop texting all the time when we hang out? Don't be their friend, because that's kind of like a jerk move to do. Take their phones away, <laughs> just grab and run. Start by turning your device off. All put your phones away in a corner somewhere, or like just put them in a box or something. I find that the best thing to do is to not talk to the person unless I am getting eye contact. Be friendly and say, hey guys, this is time for ourselves and let's, let's have fun and put the phones away. Tell them that it upsets you. Tell them, you know, I want to talk to you right now and text other people when you, have, when you don't have me to talk to. Ask them politely and if they don't 
want that, then I mean, like, how really, how much are they, are they your friends, really, if they prefer to be on their phone playing some stupid game than spending time with you? How about you just talk to her by texting? You should probably text them, stop texting, but use a ton of emojis that are, like, really bright colors and, like, an angry face, and then they'll look up and be like, oh. I'm so, so sorry. Thanks for watching another episode of Advice. Subscribe. New shows every week. We love answering your questions, so keep them coming. Bye. Bye. Thanks for all the questions.